Hello guys, it's me Mama Rika and now I'm assembling the different types of materials for my decorations. This is my second day by the way guys. This, today is Friday. The last video that I uploaded is Thursday. So now is Friday. So I'm preparing these decorations for painting, for varnishing, spraying paints, and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to assemble these four pillars of my decorations. I call this pillar because it's stand already. So uh, it's the way of standing. Okay. So now I'm going to put uh, a nail for the secure. So I'm going for to secure this one, guys because it's really really hot outside you know Habagay. ito talaga yun okay guys so first guys get uh nails so we need ano uh, nails the size of the nails is uh two inches and three inches so we're going to use this we're going to use this for uh my decorations on Saturday okay so here guys we started so first put your uh, your designs at the center of the wood so the exact measurement of the wood supposed to be it will be 15 inches to 16 inches guys okay so put at the center and nail it okay put some nail to secure it of course two so that cannot move at all so it's uh, stay as they are so they are all continuing okay always continuing the way from starting to the point so both point <sighs> so hot in here in the Philippines today today because it's already uh, summer is already starting guys it's really really hard in my country Hot, hot, hot. Just always secure with two nails, each of them, guys, so that you cannot move at all. Okay? So they stay at the same way. Okay? This is very simple guys just making sure it's safe your decoration is safe when it's standing because we're going to make this decorations stands out okay okay here we are so this is the result guys for the decorations when you are using for the dry uh, decoration something like that it's standing so we're going to put some coconuts here a dried coconut so that it can be helpful a lot for everything so that not we fall it down guys okay so uh guys make it sure always and every time that you make this decoration stand out and be secure always your decoration uh, guys now the cross is uh Again, we're going to put some a little of design this because this is the center of our decorations for the rostrum, guys. So, uh, usually, uh, this is the long part of the uh, coconut bench, uh, coconut uh, flower bud stick. So, I'm going to cut it, guys, because it's too long. So, I move this a uh, little bit part of this, more than five inches, so that I can give the exact measurement for the cross because the cross will be the highlight. So it's just going to add a little for the design itself there guys okay so we're going to nail it at the center again again so we we'll nail it at the center so just make be careful guys huh? be, be always uh, be cautious regarding about nailing because you know it's really hurt when you are pounding your own hands okay so now Continue at the sides again. So 
something like this guys or always be careful okay it's not center guys uh, I want to remove it make it sure it's center Okay, it's not moving at all. So, another side. So, we'll put another side. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, a lot of people are always thinking why I'm speaking in English because it's required in a youtuber or blogger to speak english as much as possible because if you gain a lot of subscriber from international or watcher it is really important because there's a lot of matters to be uh to be followed because there is a lot also a condition so that's the main reason i always speak in english so that a lot of people internationally can understand Usually, because just not only I'm speaking English, it's because I have clients abroad. So, uh, there are a lot of clients and abroad from, from my job, okay? So, guys, this is a really, really, really tough way of making decorations for the dry because there's a lot of works to be, to be done, okay? We are already finished putting some designs for the cross, guys. So we're going to spray it and put some a little bit varnish to make it shine a little, okay? So I show you the next procedure, okay? Okay, guys, we're uh, now cutting the coconut leaves, dry coconut leaves, so make it uh, tie it into a one way so that it's make it sure. It is standing, okay? So this is the way when you are cutting something like that. Each of the dry leaves of the coconut, cut it into one, okay? With a stick, the same. So that not only the soft one, but the stick also is uh, needed for the cutting. So it's really amazing, guys, when you cut this one because it's shining already. So... The result, guys, is this uh, this one, okay? So, when I'm using this one for the decorations, I'm going to put some nuts here. I tie it here and put it in the jar so that it can stand. So, it's really, really, really nice, guys, the result is. So, I spray it a little of white so that it can enhance the outcome of the color. So, it's give more textures and very amazing look for the decoration selves guys so each of them so usually the stock and the stick is the same so this is the stock uh, and this is the exact leaves of the banana so it's the same so the cat is really, really important so make it sure bear in your mind that is use only dry for this beautiful decoration so, okay guys okay guys this is the next procedure that bear on your mind that always puts a varnish for your decoration so that it not looks so very dry okay so guys uh this is the uh takong in the philippines they call it takong usually guys takong is the cover of the first uh bul bulb or the flower of the coconut at the top okay so this is the cover so when it comes to uh, maturity this is the outlook guys of the takong so i don't know what exactly they call this in english guys sorry but this is very useful so make it uh, put some a little bit varnish here and in the back also front and back so it's the same put varnish something like this so it will be using varnish here and this is really good for the shining uh part of the takong so if you see something a little bit something dust here so just remove it with your hands and tuck it out and that's one so okay so it's really good uh, the textures of this takong guys is really really nice uh, in comes to decoration so 
later guys I'm going uh, ano, I up update this guys with exact decorations where did I put this one for the decorations because I'm going to put it into a jar so I'm going to show you this the full the whole decorations so that it make it uh, more uh, ideal for getting some ideas for the decorations that I made guys okay so this is the procedure guys always put uh, varnish it's really nice guys so for the one decorations I almost use one bottle of varnish and I put a little of thinner paint thinner so that it can uh, easily to drive uh, for uh, applying the varnish so something like that guys we're always just continuing putting the varnish. Uh, guys, this is the result, guys. The, ano, the varnishing ano, procedure for the takong. So if you see, guys, the color is a little bit shiny, shiny and uh, red, yellow red. So this is really good, guys, when the color of this uh, material. So you can use this one as nice and beautiful. So you need to put at, at the sun so it, it can dry easily and help you to save your time guys. So that's it. Okay guys. So continue drying at least in a minute like 30 or uh, 20 to 30 minutes. It's be okay guys for drying period. Okay. Okay guys. So we are going to apply the gold color for my cross as the center of my decoration. So I use gold. The number is M123. This is the code number of the color of the gold. So I use Nikon spray, guys, because it's give me a little texture, it's not too shine, but is something a little bit natural look for the wood. Because this Janelina is really a natural head color itself, okay? So I don't want to lose the textures of the wood that I'm going to use for the cross for my decoration. So shake it first, guys, the paint. So that it can mix and the scent inside okay so this is another procedure so always uh one or eight to inches from uh from the applications of the main matter or the main materials okay so something like that guys just only give some a little bit enhancing the color and of course for those uh coconut branch uh, coconut flower bloom stick okay so it gives color it's really helpful guys to make the decorations perfect a little okay so that's the main result guys so I'm going to show you that and uh, the color so guys this is the exact color for the the cross is a little bit uh, gold okay even the stick at the lower part it's a little color gold guys okay so put it in the sun directly so that it can quick dry okay so now we're applying the white okay because white is gives some another dimensional color Take it first. Just to make it the decoration fast and a good look. Okay, so I'm going to put some a little bit white on the color. Okay. Just to enhance the center hold of the stick of the coconut uh, flower bloom. So this is simple and easy. So guys, it's the same technique when you are spraying the gold color for this uh, no, uh, decoration. Just to enhance the color. Something like that because usually this is the front guys of the decoration so you don't need to worry about the 
other part. So at the back, because the back is not being seen by our naked eye, so or the our eye. So we just only focusing the center, the the front. So first the color, guys. It, uh, I'm going to show you the difference between the two of them, guys. So this is the color of non-painted. Okay, so there's no paint at all. This one this is natural. And this is the color of early, already painted, guys. So it enhanced the color. So it's really, really nice, the design. So just continue spraying, guys, for the next until you're done. Okay? Because it's really... Uh, quick drying procedure for the paint okay so we spray from the top to the bottom because it's going to help you a lot and save time for you okay Oh, so that's just simple guys it's easy it's just take you a minute to spray and to have some color for your decorations it's really really nice guys uh, guys I'm showing you the how to make this coconut make possible for the fixing for the decorations okay guys so uh, I hope it is uh, useful for you to this guide make it you easier to work with the coconut okay and ako, pinooko, pause dahil. Uh, guys, uh, I'm show you how to put the tire wire here at the bottom of the coconut. So usually this coconut is empty. So this is dead coconut usually guys. So I use nail here. So I pounder it, uh, the nail here, so that it can make me a hole for inserting the tire wire. So... It is very, very secure, guys, to put the tie wire here when you put the coconut over there, though. This is the base. So usually it serves as a weight of the, the decorations that I made it for them. We already painted, so this is the nail. So I'm going to remove the nail, guys, because it is very, very hard to remove from the coconut, coconut shell. So something like that, guys, okay? So, when you remove that already, so I put the tire at the hole of the coconut. So, this is one. Okay? So, this is the outlook, guys. So, uh, when you use that for the decoration, so we're going to tie it directly to the tire wire. So, every coconut, guys, I put already some tire wire. So, that's make it me easy to work with. So, so that's the outcome, guys. Okay? So, guys, I'm going to show you the exact uh, type of the dry coconut usually this is the uh, that we made it already earlier so this is the exact look guys so we tie the straw in the uh, in the bottom of the sleeve coconuts okay so this is the dried already so so I have made this a lot because I'm going to put it in the stand of the jar just to make it the decorations more perfectly uh, beautiful and rusty color okay a uh, rusty outlook so uh, that's all guys that all the needs that you uh, for the decoration so I give you some ideas how to make it works the decoration when it comes to dry so by the way guys I hope you enjoy the, the video and give some you an information regarding how to create the decorations when it comes to Linton seasons this is Mama Rika again thank you and please subscribe my channel bye bye